Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this might go on YouTube, in which case I feel it necessary to provide an intro for the Schrodinger's YouTube audience that may or may not exist yet. Uh, welcome to Baldur's Gate. It's a game I've probably played half a dozen times on the channel, but never finished. I usually get bored about halfway through. Um, I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to get bored halfway through this time, but you never know. If we make it past Cloakwood, I will consider it a minor miracle. Um, I like Baldur's Gate 2 a lot more than Baldur's Gate 1, but I have a weird obsessive thing about these games, which, mean, which means that I feel I really should complete Baldur's Gate 1 before I move on to Baldur's Gate 2, because the story doesn't feel complete that way. Um, doesn't feel complete if I don't do it that way, I mean. Uh, so anyway, here we are, Baldur's Gate. It is actually the ba Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition right now is the game we're actually playing, but I'm using the Trilogy mod, which basically puts it all in one game. Um, also using uh, the NPC project mod, which adds some extra dialogue for NPCs in the first game. I'm also using a UI mod. I think it's called Dragon Spear UI++ or something like that. I forget exactly. Um, which is why everything looks different to usual here. Um, you can switch between the different campaigns. It has a cool picture and whatnot. As you can see... Got everything here, Baldur's Gate, Siege of Dragon Spear, Shadows of Arm, Throne of Ball, and then the Black Pits and Gladiators of Fae, which nobody cares about. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing Baldur's Gate 1 today. Candlekeep, the most hated place to be in. Yeah, we will not be spending very long in Candlekeep at the start. My God, we're going to be rushing through that at a breakneck pace, let me tell you. New game. Let's make a new character. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be playing as Dudley the Destroyer. There he is. What a handsome lad. So Dudley is, for those of you not in the know, Dudley's kind of like an almost like a channel mascot, Dudley the Destroyer. He's like our our off-brand, super, supermarket own brand version of Conan the Barbarian. Um, he occasionally reappears on the channel when I play various different RPGs and stuff. When I can't think of a character I'd like to play, I just f fall back on good old Dudders here. And uh, we've played him in all sorts of things over the years, including Skyrim and Conan Exiles, obviously. But uh, today, Dudley the Destroyer shall destroy Baldur's Gate. Um, and there he is. I, I, it's an AI portrait, by the way. I generated it with um, Night Cafe because um, I figured it just be spending hours and hours on Google image searches trying to find an image that would match Dudley's appearance, so I just generated one with an AI. I, um, I have a bit of a funny thing about, about, about yeah, AI artwork. I don't generally like it that much, but um, the thing about Baldur's Gate portraits is that I'd be nicking someone else's work anyway, so why not just generate this to my specifications? Uh, cost cone and the buffer. <laughs> I like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, so he's a human. He uh, is going to be a Barbarian. I think we have to click Fighter and then Barbarian. Um, so let's have a look at the Barbarian. The Barbarian can, can be an excellent warrior. I like it. this can be, not is an excellent warrior. Just, it can be an excellent warrior. While not as disciplined or skilled as a fighter, the Barbarian can willingly throw himself into a Berserker Rage, becoming, becoming tougher and stronger, a tougher and stronger opponent. Class features. May not wear armor heavier than Splint Mail. May not exceed specialization two slots with any weapon class. May achieve specialization two slots in any fighting style and allocate three slots and two weapon style. We're going to be using a great sword a lot, folks. Um, wait, two weapon style? Or is that two handed weapon? No, two weapon style. So maybe we'll be dual wielding. Dual wielding some axes, maybe. That sounds like fun. Uh, Moves two points faster than other characters. Immune to backstab. May use the rage ability once per day. Gains one use at level one and an additional use every four levels thereafter. Rage. The enraged status lasts for five rounds and provides a plus four bonus to strength and constitution. A minus two penalty to armor class and a plus two bonus to saving throws versus spell as well as immunity to all charm, hold, fear, maze, stun, sleep, confusion, and level drain spells. You know, the idea of being immune to level drain is kind of neat. I never noticed that in the small print before. At 11th level, he gains 10% resistance to crushing, slashing, piercing, and missile damage. An additional 5% is gained at levels 15 and 19. And his hit die is a d12. Nice. Uh, alignment. 
I struggle with this. I don't really know what alignment Dudley is when we when we really boil down to it. I I oscillate somewhere between chaotic good and chaotic neutral. I think he might I don't play a lot of chaotic neutral characters because it's a bit of a cop out alignment, but I think he might be chaotic neutral, if I'm honest. Um, abilities, right. Choose cheat method. You bet I'll be doing this. Uh, so I'm going to go point by 85 points, which I think feels to me reasonable. Um, there we go, which gives us just an 85 points to spend. Um, let's see. Wisdom 8. That sounds about right. Intelligence. No, 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 no. Intelligence 10 at the very most, please. Uh... Want to max out strength, dex, and constitution, and the rest can sort of go hang. I'll give him slightly above average charisma. Just roll them till a ninety. I don't want to do that though. I'd like his stats to suck in some regards though, because you can you can do it here. You can pick ninety, or you can you know do a different method and and get even higher than that. You can do you can change method and use an auto roller that just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling until you get a ridiculously. I got a ninety-seven with it once, um, and. I just that what when you when you do that you just end up with godlike stats in every single c category and I just I loathe the idea of Dudley being um ha having anything above 10 in intelligence or wisdom it just seems very wrong It's a but you're it's okay you're a barbarian no stat matters outside of your first 3 exactly yeah so we've maxed out the first 3 the rest pff, you know doesn't matter uh skills Right, uh, let's see. Two weapon style. Um, I think that's what I'm going to focus on, because that's the only thing we can get three points in. Um, what do we want to... Axes. Uh, man, I don't know. Axe and sword? I don't want to pick here, really. Um, Two-handed style, let's go three point. It said, I could have sworn it said two weapon style, unless that's like an, a glitch or an error. I, I don't want to go back, but don't make me go back. It did say two weapon style, didn't it? It definitely said two weapon style. You can get three in. not two-handed weapon style because i thought it said two-handed weapon style at first i assumed that we'd be running around with a great sword the entire time but then i re actually read it and it said two weapon style so now i feel like i should be working on two weapon style can i put three into two handed right now no i don't think you can put three into any of them right now even if you weren't a barbarian says two weapon style i'm actually playing a barbarian right now and i definitely can't get three and two handed yeah so see because django knows this game really well uh so i, I don't want to second guess him but i'm i'm sure it was two two weapon style so that begs the question what oh, can we deal wield bastard swords that would be fucking hilarious All right, we're dual wielding bastard swords, ladies and gentlemen. At least to start with, we'll probably... I, I know there's a pretty good Warhammer you can get relatively early on somewhere uh, that I probably want to end up using, but hey. Appearance. Uh, I want to make this sort of... set this up so that he looks like he's bald. It's the thing they do with Minsk in this game. You set the hair and skin colour to be exactly the same. You can really go nuts with the skin colours in this, can't you? Wow. Just 
Tricky, it's trying to get this. That's probably about right. We can fix it later though. Uh, clothing, like whatever, man. Whoa. Look at that Technicolor craziness. Whatever. Nice barbarian brown. All right. Uh, so here was a last minute addition. If it's in here somewhere. Then the hell with you. Django suggested the Conan the Barbarian sound set. <laughs> Can you believe that? Huh? We're going to be using it. Um... <laughs> Uh, biography, whatever, who cares? Name, I'd like to put the full his full title, Dudley the Destroyer, but uh, we're just one character short, I'm afraid, so he's just going to be Dudley. All right, there he is. Dudley the Destroyer, everybody. Quite how a massive honking great barbarian got raised in the halls of Candlekeep, I don't actually know, but he did, apparently. All right, I gotta play on normal, because I'm a wimp, and venture forth. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented and it is home within these hallowed halls of knowledge your story begins maybe grip wrestling the you cows have spent <laughs> most of your 20 years of life within this keeps austere walls under the tutelage of the sage gorion acting as your father he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters lovers and infidels battles and tragedies however one story was always left untold that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you Where's Colin? Help but uh, he's outside at the moment. Is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more He just popped out before ever. we started the stream. And before that, he was sleeping on my bed. Characteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day, imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel. He has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey uh yes barbarian raised in a library i love it what's that what's that line from from star trek the next generation from q hello wolf eat any good books lately um right ladies and gentlemen Balance Gate is very popular to use your offhand for stat sticks. Defender of East Haven. Belm, etc. Oh, I see. Right. All stuff I don't know about because I haven't played very much of Baldur's Gate 2. Um, Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. How's the audio, by the way? Is it a little loud at your end or is it just about right? I mean, the, the little squiggly bar thing in OBS over there looks like it's actually okay. It's just, for some reason, a little bit loud in my earphones bit loud maybe background might be a bit on the loud side let me just turn it down in a little little smidge it's not vitally important that you're able to hear all the background noise in this game that's for damn sure so ambient volume turn that down a bit more that seems to have made virtually no difference I'm gonna turn, you know, I'm gonna turn the voice voice down quite a bit because I know the Conan the Barbarian sounds quite loud. Uh, I 
Jesus, you crumb. Let's waste no time. This is not gonna get boring, I promise you. What do you want? Come, let's leave this place. Sure, I'm actually surprised. It's actually quite, quite good. I, I was expecting it to be some really out of place, dodgy sounding voice lines, but. Tell me what I must do. Lead in the morning. It will be better. It actually fits the game really well. <laughs> Is the game jittery? Yeah, I'm noticing that on the preview. That's kind of odd, isn't it? What's that about? It's not like that on my screen. Well, oh boy. I, there is no spring, just the wind that smells fresh. If when a storm. Thanks, Dudley. Uh, hmm. How are we gonna fix that? Desync the game. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe we need to change the renderer. There's an alternate renderer. We need to restart the game for it to work, though. Uh, all right. So pff, this is awkward, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to save, new save, dudders one, um, and quit, and see if that works. Welcome to my desktop, everybody. Goodbye, desktop. We briefly, we hardly knew ye. Um, I hope this works. It does! There we go, we changed it to DirectX and now everything is good. Let's waste no time. All right, let's head into the inn. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try and blow through Candlekeep pretty fast. Honestly, because I've done this so many goddamn times before. Right. Uh, well, hello there, young one. Come to visit your old pal Winthrop, have ye? Well, don't forget the 10,000 gold piece book entrance fee as per Candle Keep's custom, don't you know? That is outrageous. What kind of fool did you take me for? Stuff your inn and stuff your company. <laughs> Ever the humorless brat you always were, but it's... <laughs> but for the reputation of your father that I give you endless chances to redeem your manner, I will not tolerate you here today, but bother me not. He will, though. Um, right. Thing we need, we need bastard swords, but I don't know if he's got any. <gasps> he only has three of them. I shall take two. Um, and we'll come back later to get some splint mail if I can afford it. I hope I can afford it. How much does it? Hang on. Uh, bastard swords are thirty-seven. Yeah, we should be able to afford it. Um. All right. Oops. Uh, I need to go in this slot. There we go. Excellent. Look at him running around with his two friggin' swords. All right. I as I'm back within the hallowed walls of Candlekeep. With the, I, this iron crisis upon us, the trip from Beragost was more hazardous than I care to relate. You're Garion's ward, aren't you? My, you have come into your own, you seven-foot-tall monstrosity. If you would permit an old man jealous of youth to say so, hmm, I left an identified scroll with Teth Toril in the inner grounds. He should be done examining it by now, so if you could fetch it for me, I'd be grateful. The reward for this quest is rubbish, but I think it gives you some XP, so we're going to do this quickly. Lead in the morning. It will be better. We'll have to go, we'll go past the, actually we won't go past the foreshadowing wizards yet, just yet. Uh, Firebead has sent you to me, hasn't he? Very well, return this, with this scroll to him, but then you must hurry and speak with Garion. He's waiting for you on the steps of the central library. I assure you, child, it's a matter of greatest urgency. Yeah, I know, I know, but I have things to do first. I have things to do, I have things to, what is the scroll? Identify. I was just about, I was wondering if it was worth keeping. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. That line will actually make a weird level of sense later. So hard to find. Um, oh, I'm glad to see that age has not hardened your heart towards an old man such as myself. I'll take all your identify scrolls. I have a great use for those types of scrolls. Here, allow me to cast a little spell on you and protect you from any evil you might meet tonight. No, it won't, because it only lasts for like friggin' 30 seconds or something. That's what's important. Senile old wizard. Right, uh, we're going to go anti-clockwise around Candlekeep because it's faster to get everything done this way. Let's pop in here. All that matters is that two stood against many. Uh, 
What a mean field night that hole is just too much. Poor sap had to go man the gate this morning too. I don't know how he does it. What can I do for you anyways? I was just wondering if you had any errands I could run before I go. Um, errands? Yeah, actually, I need a quarrel of crossbow bolts. If you could get some from... Oh, I forgot to get the cro I always do this. I always forget to get the crossbow bolts. Uh, okay. Alright, sure, dude. I just need to pop over here and grab some things from this chest. That is antidote and this sword. This sword. We shall see. Destined you are not. Let's, let's go get that. Oh, I always forget to do that. I always forget to do that. Just buy the crossbow bolts right at the start. One of the things you love about the UI mods is the ability to see everyone's inventory at once. You can do that? Oh, yeah. I suppose they all appear here, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's waste no time. Hello, Winthrop. I'm here for some crossbow bolts. There we go. Let's leave this place. It's one. It's one gold piece, Django. I know you're a little bit. You 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 take your min maxing very seriously, but, dude. There you go. Immediately reimbursed. No one, not even you, will remember if you were good man or bad. Uh, put it, yeah, there we go. He's giving me a whole 10 gold. But he also gave me some experience. Nothing in there. Anything in here? Yep. Yeah. Alright, in here. First bit of combat. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. Here there, you're groins, little well aren't you? You match the description. You don't look so dangerous to me. <laughs> really, you can take a look at Dudley and to think he's not dangerous. That's that's impressive, my man. You you you, you sure you don't need to go to the opticians? Uh, and what business is that is that of yours? I'll make it my business if and I please. Just thought I'd have a look at you for myself before I put a blade down your gullet. Someone seems to think you're trouble, so I'm going to use your head for a ticket out of the gutter. I'm just a little street trash hood, they say. But I'll show him. I'm actually a little disappointed he didn't explode. Because when I was testing this earlier today, he did explode. That's what's important. Right. Oh, hello. No. No, 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 no. Not interested in your little combat tutorial. Thank you. We should turn on the rolls. Oh. Are they not on? Gameplay. Where would that be? UI settings? Uh where would it be? Wouldn't be in graphics, would it? That would be silly. Feedback. Oh, right, yes. Coloured selection circles. Actually, yeah, I like those. Um, no cosmetic attacks. Yeah, I'd prefer that. Journal pop-ups, equipment comparison. To hit rolls. There we go. Alright, excellent. Done, 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 done. Alrighty then. Ah, let's go kill some rats. This is an RPG, isn't it? What do these buttons up here do? Log history. Oh. That puts it in the middle. Oh, that moves it around. I've got it, it's, it's up with the UI mod, it's up in the top left here, like in Neverwinter Nights. So, and what does that do? Oh. I guess that copies it to my journal or something. Right. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Hop to it, says the dwarf. In we go. Now we killed the rats. Hear the lamentation of the women rats. All that matters is that two stood against many. 
I wonder if he's talking about me and the cat. Alright. Yep. God damn, this music is loud. Okay, that's a little too quiet. Okay, no, I forgot it gets quieter in the menu. There we go. That's better. Hey there, Dudley. I see you're up early today while your father grind is blah, 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 combat tutorial. Um... There we go. You did good, kid, especially after Eric started firing those arrows at you. Yeah, that's, that's kind of dangerous, dude. I did get the reward from you, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Alright, moving on. Let's go up here. Let's have a word with you. Flidia left one of her books in the haystack. Yeah, and you need an antidote. Here's the antidote. Let's go get the book from the haystack. Let's quickly drop in here for another bit of combat. Hello there. Hello. Oh, goody, goody. I've got him found you first. You are the Warder Gariah, no doubt. Actually, you did not find me first. And also, uh, leave me be. I have pressing matters that I must attend to. Far be it for me to keep you from your drip pressing matters, but I insist on only a moment of your time. The last moment, actually. I pro apologize for not fully explaining my motives, but I am on a rather tight schedule. The exposition is simply not my forte. He didn't explode either. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Oh, free warhammer. Why not? In case one of my weapons breaks. Oh, I'm not getting in there. Come. No explosions. This run is cursed. Do you have a gore on? Yeah, I definitely do. Because I was I was getting explosions left, right, and center when I tried it out earlier. Um. Dudley, you have cut yourself above the brow there. What is wrong, child? Something in your eyes tells me that something is very wrong indeed. I... Uh, it's nothing, Pada. What, what if the cats didn't like me pitting it? I'm all right, really. Hmm, yes, well, get what you need from the inn then, or for Gry and his desperate fees will be off. Yep, and then we'll go over here. We'll talk to Flidia, who's over there. Give her her book. There you go, General Kenobi, and we will head back in the inn. Lead in the morning. It will be better. Uh, talk to Winthrop, get myself that splint mail I wanted. There we go. Oh, and uh, while we're at it, sell him that. I forgot to give Hull his longsword. Oh, what an amateur. Uh, anyway, we got splint mail armor now. Lovely. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. So let's, let's go over here and give Hollis a longsword. I guess we can go through here, I suppose. Why not? Do I need a helmet? Oh, but Dudley doesn't wear helmets, man. It just wouldn't feel right. Uh-oh, it's Immerwin. All right, hello, yeah, hello, Emwyn. Um, yeah, <laughs> leave me be. I have no time to waste on you today, child. Uh, yeah, I'm just. I think for this playthrough, I'm pretty much just gonna pick whatever whatever option sounds like it would be the most Dudley thing to say. That's the way you want it. Then fine, get lost, you smelly old gully napper. I don't have time. I need to give Hull his long sword. Yeah, yeah, and there it is. Took your sweet time, he says. Bastard. Right. Oh, Alright. Okay. Go away, journal thing. This is very unnerving, I know, but you must trust me. It is very important that you pack your possessions so we may leave candle keep immediately. Hurry, for there is no time to tarry. The keep is well protected, but not invulnerable. Uh, it always weirded me out there was no option to like mention to him. Oh, by the way, I was attacked by m multiple assassins while I was on my way here. Please, Father, tell me where we will be going. 
Alas, I cannot, for I have not truly decided yet. All that is certain is that we will be far safer on the move. Perhaps the woods might offer some secluded security, or perhaps the city of Baldur's Gate would offer cover amidst its teeming throngs of people. I do not know where we shall end up, but I have a few friends here and there. Hmm, I will think on this. You mean you, mean you haven't decided where we're even going to go? All right. Uh. <laughs> what could possibly harm us here? This place is a fortress and guarded beyond measure. Also, the two people who tried to kill me today, I slew immediately. Uh, candle keep is indeed a formidable obstacle for ne'er do wells, but it is not insurmountable. No matter how thick the mesh, at least one mosquito always finds its way through. No, my child, we must leave as soon as possible for our safety and that of our friends here. Alright, uh, I'm ready to go. Shame it's so zoomed out. And Garion is dead. It does amuse me that this fight always has one outcome, but it always seems to play out slightly differently each time. Realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed. You saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward. It's difficult to imagine Dudley being overcome by a feeling of helplessness. Alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your Gorion could own actually kill Saravok in the original game and hardlock you. you. Wow. <laughs> the I didn't Gorion know that. The ones at the friendly arm. Look who it is, everybody. Sorry I followed you, but I never get out of Candlekeep, and those monks are such a bore. Never any decent coin in their pockets, neither. I saw Garion, and I am so sorry. I kind of figured something bad might happen to you out here. Uh, How could you have known? Garion did not even tell me. I accidentally read a letter on his desk the other day. I can't remember exactly what it said, but he might still be a letter. He might, he might still have, might be on his, his body. Anyway, I'm not going to let you wander around here, uh, out here alone. Never let a friend down, no sir. I'll stick with you until you say otherwise, I will. Ah, Lord, please, as you cram. What is the riddle of steel? If I don't know it, you will cast me out of Valhalla and laugh at me. That's wrong. <laughs> ah, I love this voice set. All right. All right, what's she, what's she got? She's got a, a wand, right? Stuck that on quick items, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna share out the potions. Thank you very much. What you got there? Is that an oil of speed? I'm, I'm, gonna, give, I'm gonna give that to Dudders, I think. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, that's weird how that works. 
then I then I okay right. I'm starting to get a hang 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 handle on how this UI works. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, it changes when you hover over it, doesn't it? Yeah, you're right. What's that down there? Is that Thaco? Yeah. And that's damage. This is. What is this? Don't know. Speed, maybe, or something? I don't know. Attacks per round. Oh, I see. Right. Jolly good. Let me stick both of these on there. And the same here. All right. There we go. And there's the character screen. Thief and a barbarian. Classic combo. Uh, all right. What do you want? That's what's important. All right, so uh, thus begins uh, a playthrough of exploring random wilderness for try trying to find loot and XP. Well, there is one thing we can do, actually, which is go straight back to Candlekeep immediately for a bit of bonus stuffs. Also, <laughs> the fact that Dudley is faster than everyone else is going to quickly become an issue, I have a feeling. Must remove all fog of war. Yes, I know, I know. It's actually one of the things I don't like so much about this game. I prefer the sequel because it's more focused on cities and dungeons and not wilderness exploration. All right, go back to Candlekeep. All that matters is that two stood against many. You must donate a tome of great value to our library. You don't have a book, but I used to live here. I am sorry, friend. I know that you are the child of Goriad and have dwelt here all your life, but I cannot exempt anyone from the sanctions of the Most High or Raunt. I must always talk like this. I'm not a doormat. You know, I have a feeling that the, uh, the NPC yes, project mod didn't not. actually install correctly because... Imowen should have interjected there if it was installed. This and we would have gotten some money. So I guess that mod doesn't work. Never mind, I can live without it. It was just would have been a nice thing to have additionally. That's why I went back there, it's because I thought I had the NPC mod installed. Uh, because if you go back there. Emowyn interjects and says, "Do you realize how ridiculous you're being?" And the guard goes, kind of, kind of, kind of gets all ashamed. Is like, "Oh, okay, fine. Look, I can't let you back in, but here, here's some money. Good luck." Um, did you uninstall EETN before installing the NPC mod? No, I don't think I did. So was that my mistake? Never mind. It's okay. It's okay. I can live without it for the first game. It's fine. Wester Candlekeep. It's a bit out of the way, isn't it? That uh, that old uh, signpost. Then you have to reinstall EET end. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't know that. All right. Anyway, there's a bear around here or something. Oh no, or is it a wolf? I forget. And then there's the guy who's going to commit suicide as well up here somewhere. Oh, yep. There's the bear. It's hostile right now, though. Here's Gorion's body. Again, if you've got the NPC mod installed, there's a bit here where uh, Imoen suggests maybe we should bury him. But instead, I shall just take his stuff. And we'll move on. I keep searching for that damn wolf. Hey, Wolfie, 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 where are you? 
I wish to kill you for XP. Maybe it's a bit further south. Oh, AOE loot, it's down here somewhere. Quick loot, there we go. I've turned it on now. There you go, it appears in the top left. Sorry, yeah, my 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 um my ugly visage is is obscuring the button. There's the wolf, right? Uh, I mean, allow me to. Oh, Jesus, we can't quick save. All right, Dudders, please kill the wolf before it kills you. Oh, we're off to a good start. God, make it explode. I want a gory explosion. I've not had one yet, and I've been I've, I'm feeling cheated. Ugh. Never mind. Hello, Binkos. Sorry, chum, but I can't stop the chat. There's been another caravan raided northeast of Beregos, and I must report of these dire straits to the Grand Dukes. A messenger's work is never done. All right, mate, see ya. He's walking off in the wrong direction, but that's okay. Chunking pleases you, crumb. <laughs> ah, yeah, I was looking for these two. Hello. Zara Monty. A child wandering the wilderness. Surely you must be none too bright to be travelling these roads. And you look a bit scuffed too. A fine pair of troubles all your own. Indeed, I can offer you healing potions if you wish. as a token of goodwill. Uh, uh, do we want to bring Zara and Monty? Do we want to bring Zara and Monty? Monty, best stand in for Super Tie. I think that's fair being. You're being very unfair to Super Tie there. I know you're not and want none of your help. Well, I never. Hmm. Now you've got to set him off. Blasted mage will blither for hours. Off with you. And not suffer the both of you. Not yet. Maybe when we do the false of doom playthrough, hey guys? Come, let's leave this place. So I like having Zara and Monty around when you when you've got the NPC mod installed, but otherwise not really so much. They have some really funny interactions. Oh wait a minute, where's the tree? There is where's the diamond tree? There it is. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Uh, Coastway. Here we go. And there's an Elminster. It's been nigh unto a ten days since I've seen a soul walking this road, and I've been without decent conversation since. Travelling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. If thou wouldst pardon my intrusion, may I inquire which pertains to thee? Why are you talking like a character from the Ultima series? Um... I, I'm I'm slave to whatever option sounds the deadliest. I'm not so stupid as to listen to strangers in the middle of nowhere, no matter how infirm they appear to be. Off with you. Well, deranged it is then. I shall leave thee, if that is what thou dost wish. Heed my parting words, however, and treat strangers with a touch more respect, at least until thou hast determined whether they are a threat, and perhaps more powerful than they seem. Do not dally about on these roads for long. Someone with thy manners will not last an eve. The friendly arm in is to the north. They extend sanctuary even to such as thee. Lead in the morning. It will be better. All right, boys and girls, let's keep going. Hello, it's a gibbling. Can we gib the? G no, we can't. Kill stealing Emmerwin, huh? How much does she have in the way of arrows right now? Not a huge amount. It is, and it always will be. Uh, let's actually just merge those stacks of arrows for, for a second. Also, I just want to... 
Turn voice volume up just a smidge, because I noticed the other NPCs are a little quiet. Even uh, even if Dudley is extremely loud. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm I'm periodically hitting Q to quick save, and I have six quick save slot. Quick slay quick. I have six quick save slots. Uh, say that half a dozen times really fast. Um, so my quick saves aren't overriding each other very often. Six slick slave prop. Yes, that what he said. If you don't mind, please try to keep your voices down. There'll be beasties about with better ear in than we. I don't know why everyone in this game sounds like a character from Monty Python's The Holy Grail, but uh, they just do. <laughs> Let them hear. I am more than able to handle whatever comes. You would do well to know your own limitations. I don't care whether you're a great swordsman or a powerful wizard. Regardless, you will end up filling it in the noonday sun if you don't take proper care. Move along, will you? You may be intent on digging an early grave, but I've no wish to share it with you. Well, that's what's important. Friendly arm into the north. Hey, check it out. We got the OG uh, cutscenes as well. I'm just noticing this. Not the uh, and alt in the weird animated enhanced edition ones. I missed these cutscenes, you know. I love that. I love the. I love the late '90s um, pre-rendered CG cutscenes. Welcome to the friendly arm. I trust you know the rules of conduct within. There are rules? What kind of rules? Perhaps rules as a touch through formal. It's unwritten but accepted that while herein you will act with the utmost of civility to all guests. This is neutral ground and all grievances left at the gates. If the grievances come in, then you will go out. Enjoy your stay. Alright, there's a nasty dude we need to fight on these steps over here. So be interesting to see how this fight goes, to be honest. With only two of us. Mind you. Come on then, buddy. Uh you can't save this time. Bollocks, it's fine. Whatever. I have not seen you here before today. What brings you to the friendly arm? Uh I'm not your friend and my business is my own. How rude. Not, not, no, really, that is utterly rude of you. I'd teach you a lesson about manners, but that implies you're going to live. If I weren't going to anyway, I'd kill you just for being so uppity. Get him! Uh, let's, let's kill him! I care not. Do it now! Right, zap him in the face with the magic missile, please. And Dudley, please roll good. So far, you're not rolling very good, my dude. Yep. Yet. Bollocks. Alright, Immerwin got him. It's fine. We're good. Dudley's just going to run around like a headless chicken for a while, but we're okay. Oh, he did do some damage. Okay, good. I really wish this would just wear off once the guy dies. Stupid D and D rule set. You need a new set of dice, man. Uh, tell me about it. Not a single crit so far. Mind you, it could be because we're dual wielding. When I tested it, and I was getting crits constantly, I was using a two-handed sword. So, any minute now. Ah, finally. It is, and it always will be. No one, not even you, will remember if you were good man or bad. Uh, do we need to go to the the temple? We don't really, do we? Uh, let's just head inside then. We 
shall see. Destiny or not. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sad such as yourself. I can't stand in the way the roads are cut off these days. My uncle's in Baldur's Gate and I can't get there to see him. And how come the roads are cut off? Where have you been these past, past few months? The roads are crawling with brigands and bandits after every scrap of iron you've got on you. Surely you must have fled some on your trip here. Unless you came by the West Road, that is. Mm hmm. Why is the West Road still open? There is ever a book shortage. That road of cattle keep me the most dangerous of the wall, I assure you. But these folks are after metal, so they're sticking mainly to the larger trade routes between Baldur's Gate and Arm. And guess what? This here inn is smack dab in the middle of it all. Uh, let's waste no time. All right, and here we will find Khalid and Jahira. Hi, guys. How long must we wait here? Things stir to the south as we sit. Greetings. You look familiar, though it is not your looks. I'm not sure what I expected, but I believe you are Garayan's child. I am Jahira. This is Khalid. Good, good to know you. We are old friends of your adopted father. He is not with you? I must assume the worst. He would not permit his only child to wander without his accompaniment. If, if he has passed, we, we share your loss. Grian often said that he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Khalid and I would become your guardians if he should ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now, and the choice of your companions should be your own. We could travel with you until you get settled and help you find your lot in life. It would be a fitting last service to Gorion, though we should first go to Nashkel. Khalid and I look into local concerns, and there are rumours of strange things happening at the mines. No doubt you have heard of the iron shortage. You would do well to help us. It affects everyone, including you. We are to meet the mayor of the town, Baron Gastkill. Um, your company would be welcome. Well, good. We'll leave as soon as you are ready, though it should be soon. All right, we're not going to turn oh, these two down. Come, let's leave this place. They are handy. And they, uh, well, hmm, at least one of them reappears in, in, in later games. Alright, uh... Okay, so Khalid is a neutral good half-elf fighter with slightly poor strength. Um, decent constitution, though. <laughs> Useless charisma. Um, and Jahira is a half-elf true neutral fighter slash druid. Who again has pretty weak strength and even weaker dexterity, but um, she'll do in a pinch. They both reappear, kinda. Yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna have to get these guys outfitted, aren't we? She's very close to leveling up, isn't she? Even closer than Imowen, and she's only a thief, so she levels up much faster. Uh, okay, well. Do I have the auto-generated biography or anything? No? Okay. I was curious about that. Uh, oh, I should check, actually. Do you have any kind of, like, script on you right now? Because I don't want you to have a script. Well, I do, but I'd like you to have the standard attack script. Thank you very much. No spell casting without my say-so, Missy. What do you want? Lead in the morning. It will be better. It's been dreadful snow business lately. Um, I've, been, I've put a, a tiny bit of thought into what kind of party I'd like to assemble over the game. I think we, we're we going to definitely have Vicky. We've got to have Viconia. Um, I must... I, I insist on having Minsk because he's Minsk. Um, I'd love to have Branwyn as well, because I fucking love Branwyn. She's great. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't manage to install the NPC mod correctly, because Branwyn is hilarious with the NPC mod. Um, also, with the NPC mod, you have an opportunity to get Branwyn without shelling out for an unpetrification scroll. Because, uh... Well, I might as well tell you, because I don't have it installed, but, like, basically you go to the guy who has Branwyn, you know as a statue, and uh, I, don't, I could try installing mid save, but I don't know if that's a very good idea, Dr. Fat. Um, but you go to the guy, and then Jahira interjects into the conversation and basically demands that he hand over the scroll for free, and if he doesn't, he's gonna, she's going to punch him in the face, and I think she does punch him in the face.
Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I don't, it, in all the times I've played this game, I've never taken a Jamtis, not even once. So that ain't about to change in this playthrough either, I don't think. Um, Parvalka's trapping buttocks. Yeah, I, I love brown one. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Brown, brown one is a must in this playthrough. There isn't anything in the readme that says you need to install it on a new game or can't mid save. I mean, it, I, I'm tempted, Doctor Fire. I just don't want to break it. Um. I particularly like the Minsk and Edwin banter, as well. Well, whatever. Let's, what's this guy got? We need to we need to equip our guys here. What's Khalid even armed with right now? I'm not sure. Hold on. One moment. What do you got, Khalid? You've got splint, helmet. All right, you're you're all right. We could do with getting you a ranged weapon, maybe though. I mean, just what's your ranged proficiencies? Longsword, axe, and longbow. I'd like to get him a longbow. Jahira's clubs, core staff, and sling. You have need of me? Tell me what I must grant me one request. Grant me revenge. All right. Uh, we can sell that. We can sell that. I haven't identified the belt. That's why I needed to go for the ta damn temple for. I knew I had to go there for something. Uh, so bad. Anybody got other stuff that we don't really need? I, 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 I. I don't know whether to sell these or hold on to them in case, you know, we can we can use them later, you know, put, put it in a major, major spell book. Anyway, we need to get some stuff for you guys. Uh, Jahiri, you need a club. And a sling. And... Lots of bullets. Um, she, I think she can wear splint, can't she? Does she have a shield? I don't think she has a shield right now. Khalid, I don't think needs anything unless this guy's got a longbow. Yeah, he has got a longbow, right. Right, he's got a longbow, therefore arrows. Uh, bye. There we go. Wait, uh, poo. There we go. Uh, Immerwind could do with some arrows as well. Bit of a top up. Should be the an Antipode belt. Complete cold immunity, double damage from fire. Oh, is that? Uh, I'll get it identified and then probably sell it. Khalid usually has an accident in your game. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like having Khalid have an accident because uh, it screws up. It screws with cannon. So, <laughs> likewise with Dinah here, which is another character I don't really care for a great deal, but you kind of need her for Minsk. So, once we, the thing is, once we got Viconia and and or Bran, when we don't really need Jahira anymore, so Jahira and Khalid will be gone at that point, I think. And you, in, yeah, you, technically you can do the exploit where you put one of them in a building, you walk out again, and then kick them out, and you can get get to keep the other person who was in the building. Um, you can do that. It's cheeky. It's very cheeky, but you can do that as well. By your command. <laughs> Jahira the Cylon. I love it. Uh, right. Okay. No 
Okie dokie. I... Khalid has a helmet, doesn't he? Which she doesn't. I should probably get her a helmet. I, I'm not going to get... Dudley is not going to wear a helmet because I'm, I'm really quite determined to stick to this no helmet policy for Dudley. At least until I get a really good helmet that I can't afford not to use. Also, I've noticed that his hair is not quite the right colour to get the baldness uh, thing going. And it's bothering me. But I can't find the right... Maybe it's that. Anyway. Um... Hello, Pete. <laughs> Just replying to himself. Okay, standard Pete behavior. Oh, Imowen, we need to yeah, yeah, top up your arrows. There we go. Can anybody else here use these scrolls right now? Don't think so. Alright, we all we're all suited and booted, I think we are. Not yet. That's what's important. Let's go get this belt identified. All that matters is that two stood against many. Oh, his moon doesn't have any armor? I didn't even realize. Hold on. Let's fix that. <laughs> there we go. You are welcome here in Garl Glittergold's sight. For a bit of respectful kind, we can cure what ails thee if you need. Uh, yeah. No, no, let's, let, not thinking so much cures, more thinking, tell me about this belt, I need to know so I can sell it for money. Uh, trimmed in the fur of a polar bear. This sturdy belt is tooled with images of blue moons and white ice flows. The wearer is immune to all cold-based effects, but suffers double any fire damage. Yeah, that's, that's so weird and annoying and situational that um, I'm you are not to watch. going to time. exchange it for a pile of money. This UI looks fantastic. It's pretty good, isn't it? I quite like it. Slippery Gooch. That's a class no user, username. Um, you remember, welcome aboard. You were good men or bad. My inn is open to all who behave. Right. Uh, there it is. Made a bit of a profit on that. Uh, come, let's leave this place. Let's let's go upstairs and talk to some of the quest givers. Lead in the morning. It will be better. Um, which ones are the quest givers? Valor, please grant me one request. Grant me revenge. This is one of them. You cannot get better than the stability. Ah, yeah, the rogue ogre. Have you heard? There's a rogue ogre with a belt fetish to the south of the friendly arm in. I had to bargain in my new girdle of piercing for my life out there. Wasn't even interested in an autographed copy of my book. Hey, if you could get that belt back to me, I'd be mighty grateful. I, what do you um, that's what's important. There's someone else upstairs. The roger. <laughs> All that matters is that two stood against many. A pleasure it is to meet you. Hey, I've got a teeny bit of a spider infestation happening in my cellar in Beragost. I was on my way to the gate to get some poison, but this would be a lot easier on my legs, to be honest. You know, you'll know the house when you see it. It's right to the west of the Jovial Juggler Inn. Bring back their bodies, and to prove you've done the job, and I'll give you a hundred gold pieces. If you could, please bring my husband's old boots and my old bottle of wine back as well, and I'll throw in something extra. Good stuff. Uh, where's the golden pantaloons, man? Tell me what I must do. We Is he over here? Destined, you are not. No time to chit -chat. Here it is. About time you showed. Here, I need these tunics cleaned and pressed by this eve. And ec be extra careful with the golden pantaloons. It took 15 women and a small boy from Kalimshan 12 days and 4 nights to weave them, so be careful on the seams. Well, get going. Mm. <laughs> Stow your laundry, fool. I'm neither tailor, maid, nor mother to any fob such as you. But uh, I will actually take these. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pantaloons pressed and ready for tonight. Our breakfast is free, sir. Free pantaloons. Not yet. Let's waste no time. Uh, the pantaloons sort of don't do anything. Um, 
pantaloons of a quality heretofore unseen by the eyes of either man nor beast. Dynamic styling and comfort that cradles, cuddles, and coddles. Seduce your thighs, cajole your calves, enjoy golden pantaloons today. Trousers would be proud. Trousers you would be proud to take home to mother if mother rode fast and fought hard. Yeah, um, I think you get something for carrying these all the way through to the next game or something. I forget exactly what the deal with those is. In Throne of Bar, they do something. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. Lead in the morning. It would be better. All right. No it's one. raining. Not even you will remember if you were good men or bad. Now there's a lady over here in this building somewhere we need to talk to as well. Where is she? She's in Shin here. Was this the place? Ahem. There we go. Oh, I don't think this is Grant it. Grant me one request. Hello, pal. Grant me revenge. I'm in no mood to speak to you. Get out of my face. You got anything I could rob? Uh, that's what's important. No, just a long sword and a locked thing. I've done had enough of this. I don't suppose you could uh fail. Never mind. Now, all that matters is that we shall see. Destiny or not. Uh, is she down? Is it this building here? I think is the one we're after. You can bash open locked containers in Baldur's Gate. I didn't actually know that. Now I feel pretty stupid. Let's waste no time. Hey there, you're new here, aren't you? Could I trouble you a moment? Uh. Tell me what you need, but make it quick. Yeah, I think you'll do fine. I need someone to go club some heads for me. I was ambushed by a band of old goblins within sight of this inn's walls. Robbed me blind, they did, and I want to return the favour. I don't care about most of my things, but I want you to get my ring back. My father gave it to me, you understand? Uh, what's in it for me? Hmm? Nothing! I have no gold to give you. I was just robbed, remember? You'll be doing it out of the goodness of your heart. Very well. Dudley will do this for you. I hey, thank you. These creatures were just north of the inn. I swear I could almost see them from the upper rooms. Bring back my ring here when you will get it. You'll know when you see it. It's a flame dance ring and very striking. What do you want? Come, let's leave this place. Yes, let's. Come on. Everybody just oh, getting stuck Need in the doorway. In the it will be better. All right, let's go hobgoblin hunting, everybody. Also, let's sort out this party formation, shall we? That's better. Come grant me one request. Grant me revenge. There's been a vague suggestion that having a Baldur's Gate 2 save might have an effect in Baldur's Gate 3. Maybe, possibly. That sounds interesting. go. Oh, look at that. Just smacked him right down immediately. Love it. Oh, there we go. There's a couple of helmets. Maybe I will make Dudley wear a helmet just to avoid the crits. Because you know it'll come at the worst time, won't it? When you, if, if, if I don't give him one. Wait a minute. Oh, that's what I meant to do. Fine, Django. I've relented. I'm giving Dudley a helmet. Are you happy? Not that's what's important. Tab at him. Come on. Oh my god, we're just massacring him. I love it. I forgot how much fun it was to play a barbarian at low level. <laughs> oh, did we chunk that guy? I didn't notice. I was too busy glancing at chat. I'm sorry. My blade will cut you 
Go, Dudley, go. Gotcha. Conan wore a helmet in the movie. You know what? It's true. He did. But Dudley almost never wears helmets, though, is the thing. It's not a Conan thing. It's a Dudley thing. <laughs> can't get around that way can you I don't think so anyway I think you get to like a, there's a really narrow bit here and you can't go any further if I recall yeah I, I don't think Battles Gate 3 has an awful lot to do with the first games other than a couple of recurring characters I'm pretty sure Jahira and Minsk are in Baldur's Gate 3 but uh, aside from that I don't think the story is like in any way related to the Baldspawn saga But maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? It's a money grab. But yes, of course it's a money grab. It's a video game made in current year. What do you expect? It's the whole point. It's called capitalism, my dude. What color is the sky in your universe, man? There we go. What is the riddle of steel? If I don't know it, it will cast me out of Valhalla and laugh at me. That's from. I thank you. This ring was a gift when I set out on my own. I couldn't bear the thought of some smelly old hobgoblin having it. You are a good sort, and I'll say so to anyone that asks. There we go. Reputation increase. Hooray! And we got some XP. All that matters is that two stood against many. I'm also going to go take a few little bits and bobs and sell them before we move on. I saw a Twitch clip of the bear thing. It made me laugh. Mostly not not because the actual bear thing itself was particularly funny, but because it was being broadcast to an audience, and I swear to God I could hear Jesse Cox laughing in the background. I, I, I haven't watched any of his content in years, and yet I can recognize his laugh anywhere. It just it came out of left field. Like it was so unexpected. I just I just lost it completely. <laughs> you did hear it. Well, okay, it wasn't my imagination then. That was definitely Jesse Cox. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Sell the things. Sell the things. Sell the things. I know that's an IL gem, but in my brain it always reads LOL gem. Anything else? I guess we ditch the stupid letter. I don't need that. I don't, no, 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 don't need no stinking bounty letter. It is. Let's waste no time. Come, let's leave this place. I love it when people make cryptic comments like that, Django. Like, when people say something like that, and you don't understand what they're talking about at all, but you just know that, oh, there's some juicy drama here he's referring to that the rest of the outside world of normies doesn't understand. But I'm not falling for it. I'm not going to ask what you mean. I don't care. 
Lead in the morning. It will be better. Let's uh, let's go and uh, let's go and uh, find that ogre, shall we? I'd like to see if we can chunk him. That'd be great. That'd make my day if we could chunk the ogre. I've not even bothered to check, like, did you hear a spell scroll or anything? What's she got right now? Oh, fucking Entangle, get lost. Uh, let's go with... Another Cure Light Winds, just Bless. Nah, not many Cure Light Winds. Screw Bless. All my homies hate Bless. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. The way things are going right now, we don't really need Bless. This is where I get one-shotted by the Ogre. Crush you to go! Oh yeah, there we go. Nearly, nearly one-shotted by the Ogre. Can you believe that? There we go. We did chunk him in the end. Fantastic. And actually, on that note... Nature servant awaits. Vita mortis. Vita mortis. That one pleases you. What do you want? That's what's important. You always have to have three or four goes against him. So GG. Ah, that's the, the the secret to Pete is simply to just play as a barbarian. That's that's really all it boils down to. They they kind of dominate really early game Baldur's Gate one, in my experience. I've played two barbarians in this game so far, and it was like this both times. They just destroy, which is appropriate really, considering he's he's called Dudley the Destroyer. They'll struggle later on, I'm sure, but right now, Dudley All kicks that ass. All matters is that two stood against many. <laughs> You're consumed by the Soviet Republic, I see. Come on, slow coaches. That guy's staff still on the floor, love it. Oh, hang on a minute, actually. We need to identify these stupid things, don't we? Although... Why don't I save myself some money and just hand over the belt and then identify the other one? Why identify it if I'm just going to give it away for XP? We shall see. Destiny or not. What is the riddle of steel? If I don't know it, it will cast me out of Valhalla and laugh at me. That's from... You cannot get better than there you the go. Stone walls provide. Level up for Jahira, everybody. Hooray. Alright. Um, Thacker reduced by one, which sounds really weird if you don't understand how 2nd edition D&D &D works. Uh, additional priest spells, one additional hit points. Good. I do have max hit points on level up as well, by the way. We're not, not, we're not, we're not, we're not messing around with dice rolls here. Right, that officially means Jahira is the tankiest person here. Do. Let's waste no time. Is this modded? Uh, yeah, it is. We're using the the trilogy mod with the Dragon Spear plus plus UI mod, and also um. Not yet. Come, let's leave this place. Also, kind of the barbarian voice. Set. <laughs> it is, and it always will be. Uh, let's let's morning, go downstairs. Will be better. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. That's what's important. All 
all that matters is that two stood against many. Okay. Um, we need you to identify this girdle. The cursed girdle of gender, a rare yet oft discussed magical item, is wrought with the most, the most powerful magic. Anyone unfortunate enough, or well, probably fortunate enough, depending on their whole outlook on life, I guess, um, to secure it around their waist instantly finds their gender to be transformed. It is said that, not fifty years past, a nameless court jester was beheaded for presenting the girdle as a gift to Duke Lobelan's lover. <laughs> May only be removed with a remove curse spell. Yep. We shall see. I'm gonna go ahead and sell that for some money, because even though it is cursed, you know, somebody out there is gonna pay good money for that thing. Come, let's leave this place. To all who behave themselves. Uh, here we go. Oh, and a link side gem we can sell as well. There you go. Enjoy. Um, uh, Bentley. No one, not even you, will remember if you were good man or bad. Leave in the morning. It would be better. Actually, we should. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right, Dudley. We should leave in the morning. Grant what am I doing? We should rest first. Grant me revenge. My inn is open to all who behave themselves. Royal suite, why not? We can afford it. What do you want? That's what's important. You must gather your party before venture. All that matters is that two stood against many. I like the Conan sounds, but it does irritate me that they are a little bit noticeably louder than the rest of the game's voices. It's my only minor complaint. David's planning to have any Magoo in the party? Uh, we will. We will have a mage in the party, I'm sure. It'll probably have to be Dinah here, though, yeah. Uh, go back to the coast way, please. We shall see. Destiny or not. Let's come over here and see if there are any gibblings about we can murder. I'm thinking, I'm thinking ahead, and I'm thinking my party's probably going to be something like Dudley, Emowyn, Minsk, Dinah here, Branwyn, Viconia, maybe something like that. Probably not a very optimal party, but fuck optimal. It's a Bioware RPG. I pick my companions based on who amuses me the most. Playing, yeah, playing a mage in Battles Get One kind of sucks, man. I, I, yeah, I sympathise. You just you just you just a, you're just a sling and bullet jockey for like m half the game. Occasionally you get to play with a nice wand. Hello, kobolds. My blade will cut you down to size. Guess we could pick up those spare arrows. Fighter Mage works. Yeah, so you can have some fun with multi-class, right? I did, uh, the last time I played this game, I played as a gnome <sighs> thief illusionist, I want to say. I think that was what it was. That was quite fun. Hey, uh. Must dash to Baragost, I must. Governor Kaldath must be told of the extra troops being sent his way. Baragost is to be garrisoned in case of Omnian attack. Though Omnus denied such intent, of course they would deny it the snakes. Make way for the messenger, who really needs some lessons about saying these things in Come public to random strangers who could be spies. Let's waste no time. Baragost, everybody. 
There's the little cinematic. Some of these cinematics I remember like were completely deleted in the original enhanced edition. Very annoying. Because they replaced a lot of the cinematics with the sort of fairly rubbish animated ones. And a lot of the little cinematics they just got rid of entirely and I think that was one of them. Who needs to be taught about OPSEC? <laughs> need directions? You seem a friendly sort, so I thought I'd offer my services as a guide. What do you need from the town of Beragost? Mm -hmm. I need some well-made weapons and armor. Do you have a good smithy? We have the best smithy in all the realms. Tyrom, Thunderhammer, Fwirim. Fwirim. I don't know. Fwirim. Runs the Thunderhammer Smithy in the eastern side of town. He has a few exceptional items as well, though you could also check Felderpost Inn. They carry trophy items, though you had best be rich as kings. Felderpost Inn is the west is in the west, closer to the south edge of town. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem, friend. Enjoy your stay. Not yet. Come, let's leave this place. Uh, it's a cow. Dudley is overcome by need to wrestle it. Something I never do enough of in this game is actually just talking to the randos. Blasted halflings talk in circles. I know not which is more treacherous, Firewine Ruins or Gully Kid north of it. Keep an eye on your purse strings if you ever wander through that area. Yeah, I don't do this enough. I get I get criticised by this in the com for this in the comments whenever I play this game. I don't talk to the randos enough. I've heard that arm is going to invade those damnable warmongering muttonheads. Should have seen it coming too. This iron thing is, has to be all they're doing. You ain't from the south, are you? You are that I don't trust you. There's two kinds of people in this world I hate. Those who are intolerant of other cultures and the Dutch. Hello, mate. You, look you ain't a mage, are you? You got some fancy clothes on you, so you could be a mage. I don't trust mages, you know, especially not that Valentier fellow, Western Berigost. He's mean, he is, as his minions attack anyone that disturbs him. Have you heard about the trouble down in Nashville? The mines are supposedly tainted and all the ore coming out is useless. I think Arm is just holding it back, trying to weaken our guards and troops. They've got another thing coming, they do. Someone sat and wrote comments for all of these villagers. Yes, they did. iron has been pretty rare these days, what with the supply from Nashville drying up. Trade routes are all but shut down from bandit activity. I ain't heard from Waterdeep for a month now. See, I'd like, you know how, you know how we had the Baldur's Gate series and then we had the Neverwinter Night series? Why hasn't somebody made a Waterdeep series? Why isn't that a thing? They could have done that instead of making Baldur's Gate 3. They could have just made Waterdeep. But, uh, I guess, you know, doesn't, doesn't have the, um, doesn't have the marketing value of the Baldur's Gate IP. You bet that was on the table. Yeah, it probably was, to be fair, actually. And it, oh yeah, to, yeah, you're right. It is a board game, isn't it? Still. Oh, it's Garrick. Hello. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you. Hail, adventurers! I have a proposal for you. I have heard that you're an excellent group of warriors. How would you like to a well-paying job as bodyguards for my mistress? Uh, we always want to look out for money. Tell us more. I'm Garrick, and I work for Silky Rosina. She's the most skilled musician and actor along the Sword Coast. In fact, she's to play at the Ducal Palace before the month's done. However, she's been having some problems of late. Some thugs have been hired by Feldapas to hurt her bad because she didn't perform at his inn when she was supposed to. You can't blame her for not showing up. But with a villain like Feldapas running the place, 
She needs mercenaries to protect her until she's ready to go to Baldur's Gate. She's willing to pay about 300 gold. What do you say? That sounds fair. Why don't you show us this mistress of yours? I think you've made a good decision. Now just meet me outside the Red Chief Inn. So, Garrick, these are the only mercenaries you could find. I guess they'll have to do. You look to be worth about 300 gold. That's what my little Garrick offered you, isn't it? I offered them 300 gold, just like you told me. Well, then, I assume that Garrick has explained what your duties are. You must simply dispose of the ruffians when they come to threaten me. They shouldn't be too hard to deal with, but I would advise you to strike fast. Whatever you do, don't speak with them. One of them is a mage whose mystic words could sway even the most wise of men. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky. Here they are now, fell the post thugs. Strike when I tell you to. Greetings, Silky. We're rare as you've lost, and we have the... Don't try to threaten me. I won't be easy prey for you to beat on. I've brought friends. What are you talking about? We're here with the gems that... Shut up! There'll be no weaseling out of this one. Strike now! Kill them all! Uh. Stop this madness! We will not murder those who are obviously innocent men! Our deal is off! In any case, you're probably too cowardly to be any good in a fight. I'll deal with them myself after I deal with you. Slap her! Come on! Kill her! Get her! Gib, come on. Chunk, 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 chunk. I have never prayed you before. I have no tongue for it. Do you know, I think I've never actually been killed by her before. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. Oh boy, where were we? Ah, just about to talk to Garrick, that was it. Let's waste no time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Silky spells are dangerous. Apparently so, yeah, I just, I've never been killed by it before. I don't know why, it's just never happened. Yep, 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 yep. I am Silky. Vespin Extraordinaire. Greetings, mercenaries. I this is where someone in the comments is going to come along and be like, Well, actually, Dave, in episode 24 of your Baldur's Gate Let's Play from 2013, you were, in fact, killed twice by Silky. All right, fine. I do not recall, to the best of my recollection, having ever been killed by Silky. Um... Yep, 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 yep. Yep, die! I care not. What do you then the hell with you? Tell me what I must do. Can you believe that? There we go. Nice one, everyone. Not yet. Come, let's leave this place. Silky's dead. I guess she had it coming. You can't be evil like her and expect to get away with it. I'm out of a job now. Would it be too much to ask if I could join up with you? Uh, no, we, we don't need anyone else right now. Go away, Garrick. Uh, we thank you for stopping the evil witch before she killed us. Here, take this as a token of our appreciation. A potion of defense. There we go. We got a magic stick, uh, and we got this potion of invulnerability. I mean, who would benefit from that? Probably Jahira, I guess, right now. Congratulations, Jahira. And potion of defense. Also, probably a Jahira item, really. Dudders' armor class is zero anyway. 
Emma morning. Wood is the hard carry so far. Yeah, she kind of is, isn't she? <laughs> You're right. All right. Do you know what? We've got one fight over and done with. Let's try, try and do another challenging one just for their giggles. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wait. Not that it's anything personal, you understand, but I'm afraid your time on, here on this ball of mud is just about done. Mm, I hope you have the will to back up those words. Aye, that I do. The will and the way. Shall we get to business then? Smackety smack. He's not a mage, so... I'm less worried, he says. Potion. There you go. Come on, guys. I haven't used my rage yet today, have I? I keep forgetting I have it. Fucking hell, Dudders. Come on. I've never prayed you before. I have no tongue for it. Let's waste no time. I don't even know who you're talking about, Django, with these basilisks. What do it you rings want? a bell for some reason, but I don't recall. Okay. Tell me what I must do. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wait. Get him! Kill him! Please! Ah! Fucking hell. Could you guys roll a little bit better? Nice one, uh, 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 Jahira. Um, sorry, I turned into Khalid there for a moment. I'd always have a soft spot for Khalid as someone who constantly mispronounces and stutters. Oh, there we go. Just take his stuff. In the morning. Do you know what? Better. I should probably should be doing backstabs and things, shouldn't I? I never bother with backstabs unless I'm actually my main character is a rogue. That's probably very silly of me, but it's the truth. Oh really? You have to be stealth to get backstabs in this? Didn't know that. Well, I probably did know that, I just forgot. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. What you wish done? Dave only does front stabs. It's true. At least since we're a barbarian, we're immune to backstabs. For what that's worth. I don't know how many enemies do try to backstab you in this game. Actually, I'll hold on to the axe just as a reserve weapon. Along with that hammer. Everybody else got anything worth selling? I don't think so. That's what's important. Uh, what else is there here to do in in Baragost? I guess we could go to Feldpost and kill the drunkard. That's that's one thing we could do. Anyway, what was this about Basilisk uh, Django? Sorry, I think I missed it entirely, whatever it was you replied with there, because I was too busy dying. It's a magic mace and the burning wizard. Area called Mutamin's Garden to the east of Beragos corrects the ghouls there. Helps you out tremendously. Oh, are you talking about that thing where like you ditch everybody in your party and go and do the thing there to get buckets of XP? Because I'm not doing that. Here now, get out. I don't like your type. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. All that matters is that two stood against many. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Hey, I told you to get lost. Ain't no room here for your troublemaking strangers. Uh. 
Uh, uh, go away, I like pal. You got a problem with that? I don't know what's going on with my accent right now. It's all over the place. Uh, I have a problem with morons armed to the teeth, poking through ruins and stirring up creatures better left alone. Jokers like you blow through town with monsters in tow and then out again, leaving us locals to clean up the mess. Whoa, go easy. Let's keep it friendly. How about I buy you in the rest of the bar around? I ain't your friend, you ain't mine, and it'll be a cold day on the ninth plane before I drink with the likes of you. Best you keep your filthy dungeon money to yourself. Better yet, how about I put you and your dead money back in the ground where it belongs? I think this guy might be an easier fight than the last one. Just a hunch. There we go. Alright, what up, Fell the Post? Just murdered one of your customers. I got some cheap beer for you. Thinking I might sell you that gem I picked up. And this letter that I don't need. You got anything good? It's got a bastard sword plus one that I can't afford. Oopsie daisy. Sorry, I was fiddling with a craft knife on my desk and I might have just dropped it very loudly. <sighs> Done. Um, it is, and it always will be. We shall see. Destiny or not. Let's waste no time. Yeah, I, I go to the Ankegs when as soon as I can to get 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 some XP from those crazy pinatas. Right, this is the place where the spiders are at, isn't it? I'm expecting this to be a real pain in the ass. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to reload it every time we do this in case someone gets poisoned. Hi guys. Um, did anyone? No, okay, we're good so far. Oh, come on, can we do this? Oh my god, we killed them all without anybody getting poisoned. I'm amazed. Come that never happens. And Emma went level double at all. That's, that's not bad. Alright, uh, okay. Right. Do I want to go open locks or find traps here? Yeah. That's the question. Um. I think I want to go open locks now. We can worry about find traps later. I'm thinking ahead to Cloakwood specifically. Uh. No one, not even you will remember if you were good man or bad. Worn out boots, gold, bottle of wine, and and our gem. Ah, Lord, please, as you cram. Lead in the morning. It will be better. Nothing else to lose in here. All right, good. We'll take those back to Baragos. That's what's important. Eventually, we also need the dead spider. All that matters is that two stood against many. Those are faster and basically risk-free compared to Ankegs, really. I did not realize that. I didn't even know about the Basilisks, to be honest with you. I, did, I had no idea they were there. But uh, I usually go for the Ankegs, and they also have some really nice loot down in their caves, too. Basilisks or anything but risk free because they stone form you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not interested, frankly. I'm not interested.
Onwards to the tradeway. We shall see. Destiny or not. Hello, small child. Mother said not to talk with strangers. Leave me be. I'm picking fruit for mommy. Every little bit helps, she says, so I'm gonna help. Uh, isn't it dangerous for you to be out here? Yeah, I suppose. I'm fast, though. And the town is only a little ways away. I was chased by a gibberling once, but Monkey's dad's a guard. He smacked that grass monkey like it had never been hit before. They keep clear of town. Bandits don't go for kids much neither. They only hit you if you're packing or at a town. I gotta get to back to picking, okay? There's lots of random children out in the wilderness in this game. Where are those bandit fake guys? Whatever they are down here. A couple of aha, there they are. You're who I was looking for. Can you believe that? Time for some carnage. Oh yeah, there's carnage. All right. We've got a scroll and another scroll, regular scroll and a magic scroll. Uh, yeah, that's the letter that, that we can give to somebody at some point, I think. And a grease scroll that I don't think anybody here has a use for. What do you want? Let's waste no time. There's lots of other voice packs. Um, there is a the, the Django has like a list of them, and there's some pretty funny ones in there. Right, there's a... Uh... This, the, the Brick Top and Frank Drebin ones really, uh, really, really amuse me. Those are the ones I want to actually, I might actually install later and play around with <laughs> on my own time, because just I want to see those. Hey there, dude. Keep low and quiet. Can you smell it? Ogres on the breeze. Two, maybe more. Yeah, we killed both of them. I sure could use another talented hunter in the party. What do you say? I say no team sport. Not for me, at least. I work alone. Don't need you slowing me down. Take a walk, kiddo. We should kill him. We should kill him and take his stuff. Anyone need extra arrows? Uh, can I help you? There you go, you can take those. Tell me what I must do. Come, let's leave this place. Isn't that, that sunken house over here? Yeah, there it is. A submerged house. You have no idea how long it's been deserted. Hello, boys. Imwin, uh, yep. have some arrows. Not yet. Lead in the morning. It will be better. Whoa. Crush your enemies. See them driven before you. 
They hear the lamentation of the women. Just the one gibbling. All right. I think the jankiness of the you know, the inherent jankiness of the voice pack already just adds to the charm. Honestly, I. <laughs> The funny thing is that the, the 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 audio quality of the of the dubbing in in Conan the Barbarian was so off in places that it actually means that it weirdly blends in with this game because this game's kind of similar in terms of audio quality for NPC voices. Ah, there's more. There's more, little brother. Shocking grass, babe. Eh? What you want? Everyone, you can go pick that up. Uh, it is. You're the one that's request. carrying all the uh, scrolls Great around for some reason, so. Hello there! Ah, finally! Chunked someone again. Ooh, some fancy boots, and I spy with my little eye some studded leather for Imowen. There we go. Do you want no one? Not even you will remember if you were good men or bad. Then we'll watch the Arnold uh, documentary on Netflix. By the way, I watched a little bit of it. Um, it's pretty good. I serve the flaming, flaming fist. You there, you're under arrest for banditry and highway robbery. We know you're part of that bandit group has been terrorizing the coast way. Give yourselves up, or there will be trouble. Uh, you've got the wrong guys. We're not part of any bandit gang. Really now? Why should we believe you? Uh, because of my warm smile and honest demeanor? Sweet talking won't help you at all. <laughs> Arrest us then. We're not taking you in a lot. I didn't realize this would, end up, this would end up in a fight choosing this option. Murdering swine? Uh, leave us alone, please. Please, I don't want to write. You, I get a huge, huge reputation hit for killing you. I don't want that. Bye. To toodle pip. So long. There we go. Whew. We shall see. Destiny or not. Alright. Is there anything down this way? I don't remember. Don't think there is much, is there? Let's go back up this way. There's some hobgoblins over yonder. Brave Sir Dudley ran away. Bravely ran away, away. He bravely turned his tail and fled and something, something else instead. I can't remember the words. Is that a song from South Park? Gee, Jesus Christ, JB. You, you seriously never watched Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Stop watching this stream right now and go watch that. Goodness me. You call yourself a nerd. Place for a hench. I'm getting a lot of 
dialogue lines from Jahira in this playthrough that I, I've either never heard before or only very rarely heard before. I wonder why that is. Is she using her dialogue lines from Baldur's Gate 2 or something? That might be it. Um, who am I looking for right now? Yeah. Yep. You grab that. And that. And these. It is, and it always will be. Some dead people over there. Let's waste no time. Hello, Gobbles. Well, this is embarrassing. Is this Morrowind combat? Come on. What you want? Man, we are just we're getting assembling quite the collection of grease scrolls right now. Finally ordered an extra 8 gigabyte RAM, gigabyte RAM stick to put in your laptop to upgrade to a 16 gig total. I either needed a 16 gig stick or another 8 one in slot 2, as well as a 4 terabyte external hard drive. I could have gotten the 5 terabyte for only a $10 more. So now you can finally play all those games that are like, bruh, you don't have 16 gigs of RAM. My dude, soon they're going to be telling you, bruh, you don't have 32. How dare you interrupt the the best speech, you impudent kobolds! I don't usually explore this particular bit of this map, but I'm glad I did because we get to kill a few more kobolds. I've had 32 in mind for friggin' ages because you, you need it for Flight Simulator. Particularly X Plane back in the day, you really, really needed um, 32 gigs of RAM for that. One moment, folks. I just need to adjust my little headset arrangement here for for a moment. Oh, that's more comfortable. What's the time? Coming up on five o'clock. I'd like to make it to Nashville before we stop today. Hello, kobolds. Oh, Dudley leveled up! Hurrah! Nice one, Dudders. All right. Thacko reduced by one and 16 hit points gained. It's not, there's not a lot else to say, really. But there we are. What do you want? Grant me one request. 
Grant me revenge. Is this impassable? Sh very shallow looking water is unfortunately completely impassable. Nashville. Let's go. That's what's important. Father, I'm off to play. Well, a fine day, dear. Uh, did you remember to wash your face? I did now. <laughs> Sneaky, nasty kobolds. With your hurried flight from Candlekeep barely behind you, the troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. Gorion would not have you sit idle, however, and perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashkill mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah, it does. It does, Rohemald. It's awesome. Gives the old cutscenes back. Stand away, citizen. Identify yourselves. Um, we are the party of Dudley, seeking a place to rest between adventures. There be an end here, but consider yourself warned. Tensions run high right now. I'll cause any trouble, and you will have to warn out your welcome. Okay. Uh, there's Rizard. He's one of the enhanced edition NPCs, and I have no interest in interacting with him. Uh, not in this playthrough, anyway. Uh, there's a baddie in that inn, I think. Don't know if I want to go in there just yet. Actually, I don't remember. Are they there now, or they they pop up later? I think they might be there now. Welcome to my humble establishment. Um, interested in a little business on the side, friend? I have a man who swears by his grandmother he glimpsed a white wolf up in the Cloud Peak ice fields. It was but a short way south, and she'd be easy pickings for a smart sword. I'll pay you good money for the, for its pelt, so it's a guaranteed sale if you go. Keep in mind on your travels. Uh, can I interest you with anything here in my humble shop? Uh, maybe. Zerlong's boots. When did they get identified? Oh, they didn't. I just they're called Zerlong's boots, but I haven't actually. We haven't really identified them. It doesn't say what they do. Um. Sell those. Um. Get rid of those. For goodness' sake, we don't need three scrolls of grease. It's getting silly. Coal kettles family amulet. That's probably for a quest that I'm never going to get around to doing. So goodbye. Um, grace me up, woman. <laughs> All right, cool. It's got lots of spare bastard swords. That's nice to see. And he's got some plate mail. Hmm. Hmm. I know where we can get some free Ankeg plate mail for you around here, though, so. No one. Not even you will remember if you were a good man or But bad. then. I can give that to Minsk. We shall see. Nah. Dest I'm gonna buy it. Time. I'm gonna give it to Jahira. Business has been poor. There we go. The customer is always right. And you can have this. Not yet. Come, let's leave this place. Lead in the morning. It will be better. Mince doesn't do plate though. Oh yeah, he does. Yes, he does. For the 
glory of Arm! Hello there! I recognize Jir in your group, so you must be the adventurers I was expecting. I'm Baron Gaskill, Mayor of Nashkill, and yes, before you ask, I always talk like this. And I'm happy to welcome you. I'm sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. Uh... What exactly is the trouble here? I can't believe you haven't guessed. Have you heard of the, have you heard of the iron shortage? Well, Nashkill is in the thick of it. Our mines are all but shut down because the workers continually go missing, and what are we do get is tainted somehow. I would send the town guards, but we need them to protect our citizens from the bandits that raid our caravans. We need you to find out what is wrong in the mines southeast of town. I will do what I can. Thank you. You will be the toast of the town if you can help. It is, and it always will be. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. We're gonna get these uh, little doodads identified while we're here. You must gather your party before venturing forth. That's what's important. Ah, intrepid adventurers at our door. Helm guards over all the realms, and his servants are at your disposal. The Vigilant One stands ready to mend thy ailments, and so divert the unyielding gaze of the Great Guide, for a suitable donation, of course. Just to demonstrate our mutual goodwill, you understand. Helm watch over you and our poor lost brother, Brag. A finer captain of the guard could nary be found this side of Arm. Such a strange change for one so devout as he. One does not usually change so drastically without nefarious help. If there be an evil presence on him, perhaps the harsh justice of the military should be stayed. He'll find no quarter at the garrison, but if he came to the temple, well, his restitution need not be his life. Is there anything I can help you with, by the way? Sorry, I kind of wandered off on a weird tangent there. I do apologize. I do it all the time. Um, yes. I need you to identify my staff and my boots. There you go. The simplest and humblest staff weapons of cool staff is a length of blah, blah, blah. It's probably, yeah, it's cool staff plus one in it. And the boots of stealth worn whispers in ages past. In, in ages past, a king named Regard was renowned for the spies he kept. So skillful were they that no nook or cranny escaped their eyes. And all maps were held for entire castles and towns. Um, eventually betrayed from within, the tools of their trade were taken from, taken and dispersed, ensuring that none could amass such a band again. Move silently plus 20%, hide and chest plus 15%. I... We could give them to Emmerwin, I guess. Or we could just sell them for money. I think I want to sell them for money. All that matters is that two stood against many. We shall see. Destiny or not. Let's waste no time. Yeah, business has been poor, but with the iron shortage and all. 750 gold as well. I mean, like, come on. What is the rule of steel? To come. Free suit of place. plate armor for those. Uh, isn't this guy the one that's all like... Oh, oh yeah. You have returned, and so soon. No, say not another word. I would not think of making you wait for but a moment for your just reward when council told me that they had procured Grey Wolf to rid the woods of the bandit Tonquin. I knew we could expect swift justice. I would not have predicted success this quickly, but uh, who else could it be striding into town looking, uh, looking as you do? Please accept this meagre sum of 200 gold pieces, as well as the heartfelt thanks of all of Nashkul. Um. Yeah, chaotic neutral after all. Uh, yes, yes, I, I would be Grey Wolf. Uh, that's me, all right. None other than Grey Wolf. I'll take that reward because of uh, what I did. I'm Grey Wolf, and I deserve it. Thank you. Excellent doing business with you, Grey Wolf. We shall not hesitate to call upon you if any other thieving miscreants make their presence known. And there's the man I came to see. Stand and deliver, that my hamster might have a better look at you. Let us pass, strangers, for we have not much time to waste. What? Yes, I'll ask them. 
Boo and I go to rescue my charge, Dinah here. You may aid in our victory if you wish. There is glory enough for all. Um. <laughs> Excuse me, but, but are you speaking to a rodent? Boo is my faithful animal companion, and more than he seems. Uh, the classic dilemma of the damsel in distress. How could uh, anyone decline? Take heart, fellow adventurers, for you have carried, carried the favor of Boo, the only miniature giant space hamster in the realm. My friend and companion ever since my head wound. He will lead us to victory. Onward to the Nold's stronghold in the west. Tarry not, we must go soon. What do you want? Tell me what. Lead in the morning. It will be better. Cool one. Kicking for goodness. There's the man of the hour. There we go. I'll just pop you up there. Not grant me one request. Grant me revenge. The butts of evil await our boot print, Minsk. Um, right, what's he got on him? Leather armor and a big ass sword. And Boo, of course. Boo scuttles away as you try to grab him, and Minsk stops any further attempt to steal the animal with a harsh glare. Boo is a fuzzy little hamster. While Minsk believes that Boo is mini a miniature giant space hamster, you are rather certain that the tiny rodent is just a normal hamster. <laughs> you, wish Minsk, you wish Minsk was a barbarian instead of a ranger? Yeah, me too, to be honest. But hey, them's the brakes. Okay, well, he just needs some armor, pretty much. Although, I'd like to have a look at his... Uh, page here. Yeah, because he has two weapon styles as well. That's a whole thing. But uh, there's only one guy in this party who do wield bastard swords, and his name is Dudley. So Minsk, you're going to be all great sorting it about the place, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, his strength is, is superb, just like Dudley's. Uh, Dex and Constitution are all right. Everything else is dreadful. He's even he's even got even less wisdom than Dudley, and that's saying something. Love it. It is, and it always will be. That's what's important. However, I'm gonna get some armor for him over here. But first we have to meet Edwin. Hello, Edwin. Go no further. I require the services of your group. Is yes. <laughs> will do nicely. Is this what I have to work with? Pathetic, but it will have to do. I am Edwin and would have you work for me. It is but the simple chore of killing the witch diner here. Do you accept the task? Uh Why would you have this woman dead? Am I to kill her without knowing? Frankly, yes, it is no concern of yours. You need but perform the act with no questions. What is your answer? Uh, I would know the price you offer before I take the job. The price I offer would be surely beyond measure to your in your meager understanding. Either take the job or not. Uh, I'll not do the deed without knowing my reward. Find another stooge. One would think that any reward is better than none at all. However, no matter. I shall seek out others who know their place. Yeah, but the NPC mod, you get an interjection from Minsk there that sort of uh, gives you a bit of an out and allows you to take them both with you without being like, sure, I'll murder the bitch. Ah, uh, oh, this guy. Hey, Nuba. Another nice thing about having the NPC mod is there's a way out of dealing with this guy too. If you just talk to him enough times, Minsk gets so annoyed that he just uh, he, he threatens to kill the guy and he runs off. Uh, right, now then, where is around here somewhere? It's a bit further up this way, I think. There's a little bit of field that just mysteriously has Ankeg plate mail in it. There it is. Our Lord pleases you, Kram. 
Yeah, I might I might try and install it for next time, uh, Dr. Fat. Because uh, there's a lot of little interactions I miss, to be honest. Um, right, where is the, where is the prank plate mail? Right, Minsk. Minsky boy, congratulations. You now have some armor worthy of the name, which has brought his AC down to zero, which is nice. Jira's is still two, in spite of the fact that she's wearing fucking plate mail, but hey, whatever. What are you going to do? Oh, we need a helmet for you, don't we, buddy? No, 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 ma no matter. We'll find one what sooner or later, want? I'm sure. We shall see. Destiny or not. All right, let's head up here, and we're gonna have a we're gonna have a bash at taking out the uh, the, uh, the the hired thug waiting for us in the inn. By your command. But first, let's heal Jahira, shall we? She comes. It might be a touch unladylike, but I'm gonna slit your throat, I am. Just fancy my luck seeing you stroll in here, bold as day. I expected a hunt and a chase from the description, but who am I to argue easy coins in the purse? May the Lord of Shadows guide you swiftly to your death. Uh I will defend myself if I must. If you wish to die, then attack as you will. By all means, defend as you wish. If you were to simply lay down and die, there should be no intrigue in this profession at all. Get her and Emmerwin try and stop her from casting that spell. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness. Halt. Somebody hit her again, quick! Uh, I should have used the wand too late now. No, 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 just make a stop. Oh, there we go. We got her. Whew. That could have been a hell of a lot worse, you know. All right, we got a, we got an awesome helmet out of the bargain, didn't we? Although it's one I'm probably going to sell because it's the Infravision helmet, if I recall, and I have Group Infravision on in the options. So because we have a couple of half elves in the party, I, I don't actually need it. I don't think anyway. I'm pretty sure half elves have Infravision, right? This is this was second edition D and D where pretty much everybody except humans had infravision. Hope you're gonna work, and there are a few, quite a few nice, interesting things added by the mod later on as well. Yeah, I've never made it far enough into the game to really dig into that stuff, but um, I am. I was I was on the fence about it to be honest with you because. Not yet. Come, let's leave this place. You know, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to just sort of stick to the more vanilla experience with it, you know? But there are so many little interactions and interjections that I've missed as we've played this um, that I'm pretty convinced now I, I actually do want to install it again. Uh, so I think we'll do it for next time. Never. Hopefully you can do it mid-playthrough. I have no idea, though. Okay, um, yeah, well, let's, let's, let's rest here, shall we? Alright, I'm going to save the game here, ladies and gentlemen. Dudders 2, there we are. Folks, we're going back to the main menu because we're done for today. It's, uh, it's quarter past five, and our time... I'm afraid he's up. Hope you've enjoyed, though. I've enjoyed this. We've been kind of just... I wouldn't call it speedrunning. Let's not be too dramatic. But I've been kind of, you know, rushing my way through this section of the game because, my God, I've played it so many times. Um, 
if we if and if need be we can restart we're not too far. yeah admittedly you know we're um if if it if it's that desperate i could just restart but um hopefully i won't have to so yeah um we'll see i'll try and get that sorted for next time as for when next time will be um i'm not sure actually we've got tomorrow's stream I'm, I'm having one of those moments here where I struggle to remember what day of the week it is. It's Thursday. Um, we've got tomorrow's stream, we've got Saturdays. Um, and I did sort of promise to do some Medieval Kingdoms this week, so... Might do Medieval Kingdoms on Saturday and do more of this tomorrow. If that would be agreeable. It gives us a little break from RPGs on Saturday, and then on Sunday we come back and play more. Yeah, I think that would work. I think that'd be all right. I'd like to do two streams of this a week, if possible, for a while, at least because that way we can make a bit of progress through it relatively fast. So, that's my thinking, anyway. So, uh, anyway, folks, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, you're going to be able to staring at my desktop now for a moment while I try and find someone to raid. And if I did put this on YouTube, thanks for watching YouTube people. I'll read your comments later. Uh, raid channel. Uh, looks like Lydia's playing some Skyrim, so let's go raid her. Says she's playing Skyrim, but I think she might just be modding Skyrim, judging by that thumbnail <laughs> either way. <laughs> uh, well, uh, let's go ahead and raid her. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, pretty background. Yeah, it is. It's just a photo I took from a place down the road from where I live uh, about a week ago. It was a very nice sky, and I just thought, fuck it, I'm going to stop and take a photograph. Anyway, ladies and gents, thanks very much for tuning in. I'll catch you tomorrow, same time as usual. Toodaloo.